Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host Lovely Cheese Pizza here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Grand Theft Auto V. We're, I totally forgot that we stopped this thing in the middle of the road. Probably because I haven't played this in a week, and I apologize for that. It's been a very hectic week, but now we get to go back into it. The way we ended the last episode was interesting. <laughs> we got to pilfer a train after it went, you know, flying off of a bridge, so that was pretty cool. And now we have a couple different options that we can do. We can either do... Uh, one of these Minutemen things. Or we can go over here and do the uh, Federal Investigation Bureau mission, which I think I want to do that. That seems like a pretty cool idea in my book. Whoa! Why do you want me to go this way? What is the appeal? Oh, we're going dirt roads. I'm all about going dirt roads, actually. We have the right car for it. It seems like an... Seems like a fun idea to me. And while we're going there, let... Oh, no! Oh! He was in the way! Oh, well, damn it. I mean, should have kept Fido on a leash, man. I know you're out in the wilderness getting to take in the sights and the sounds, but hey, one of the sights and one of the sounds can also be a fucking crazed man in a dune buggy running over anybody that so much as gets in the way. So that's what that is. Anywho, while we're en route to this uh, special new mission of ours, look, I gotta tell you about this story. I got to help a customer today that legitimately had multiple personalities. It was so weird and cool and bizarre all at the same time. He comes in. The guy kind of looked like he was, I don't know, probably like a, a maybe like a little bit of a drifter. You know, a guy that maybe seems like he, he might, may or may not be homeless. You know, at the very least, he's a, he's a wanderer of sorts. Okay, come on. Come on. I know you're, you know, this is maybe not the best. Probably would have flooded the engine in any other car, but hey, we work in the land of, of make-believe. Where cars can be completely submerged and drive out unscathed. But, uh, you know, it's good. But yeah, he, he looked like he, you know, might have been homeless, if anything. You know, just a guy that comes in wearing those, one of those huge, like, almost body-length backpacks. And, uh, guy had about, approximately, about 12 teeth. Which, uh, you know, I'm not really gonna put too much stock in that, but he comes in, and, uh, you know, he's looking for some energy drinks, he's like, hey man, uh, we're looking for some energy drinks, and he used the word we a lot in this, and I didn't really, it didn't really, you know, occur to me until way later, why is he leaving such a crazy, you know, tire print in that, that's kind of weird, anywho, um, so he's like, yeah, we're looking for some energy drinks, I figured he probably just had somebody outside, but, uh, so I go and take him over there, and he, he grabs one, and he's like, ah, he's like, we're totally gonna get one of these. And so he he uh, gets it, and he's like, you mind if I drink it right now? I was like, go right ahead, man, as long as you pay for it. And he's like, oh, don't worry, I've got the money. And so, or he's like, uh, we've got the money. And so he, he opens it up, and he just starts downing it, like he's doing, like the thing where like you crack that open, and he's like pouring it into his mouth from up here. <laughs> you know, he is just shoveling that thing into himself. And so he gets done with that, and he, and he goes up and pays for it. And then, uh, and then he starts kind of, you know, he starts talking to himself really quietly. He's like, hey, do you think we should get another one? Do you think we should get another one? And, and then, uh, and then, you know, he kind of, like, shifts over and, and, and you know, responds to himself in, in, you know, kind of a slightly, in, a, like, a different tone. And has, like, different body language. And he's like, well, yeah, 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 I think we should really get another one of those. And so he's like, all right, well, I, he's like, I think, I think we're going to go pick up another, you know, a couple more for the road. Because we're going to be out walking a lot today. And so they go over, and, they, and he goes over, and he picks up another one, or a couple more. And uh, he ends up paying for him. Slams both of those as well. And uh, after a while, he, start, he, he starts having another, you know, full-fledged conversation with himself. And that's when it started dawning on me what was going on, because he, he was basically, like, asking a regular question. And then as soon as he would do it, when he would answer the question... Like, his, his entire body language would change. So say he was, like, doing it this way, he'd, he'd be asking the question like this, and then to answer it, he'd turn this way, and, like, his body language would change. Like, he'd kind of, like, he'd kind of, like, stand upwards, and, you know, the, like, the inflection of how he would say certain words would change completely. And it was, it was so weird. And it was at that point where I was like, the, either this guy is, you know, either this guy's on drugs, 
or he just legitimately has multiple personalities and I'm like watching him talk to himself like to both of his personas at the same time and uh, and I you know I like to think that was probably the latter because he didn't really seem like the kind of dude that was on drugs he just seemed like a really just a really nice funny guy like I got to I ended up you know getting to talk to him you know a little bit later after he was done having his internal dialogue if you will and uh, I you know, ended up talking to both of his, you know, various personas, and they were both just, like, really low-key, nice, funny people. Like, it was just a genuinely nice pair of people, <laughs> you know? I thought it was really cool. Like, I, I've i heard, I've never encountered that in my life before. I've, I've had many situations where I've, you know, I've read stories about it on the internet, and I've, I've watched documentaries and shit. That was weird. Yeah, for fuck's sakes would be a, a pretty adequate thing to say there. Um, but I've, I've, you know, watched documentaries on it, I've read things, I've heard other people talking about experiences they've had, but I've never had the opportunity to, you know, witness it firsthand myself. And it was, it was really bizarre, like, I didn't really know how to respond right away, like, I didn't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to be, like, inconsiderate and ask the guy, or like, are you talking to yourself? Like, you know, I didn't want to, like, bring it up. Like, if he, you know, mentioned it to me, then that's one thing, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to, you know, because I feel like he's probably had multiple people respond to him that way in, in like a negative fashion where they're like, oh, this guy's fucking crazy, blah, blah. But it was just a genuinely really cool thing, you know? As soon as he, as soon as, uh, as soon as he left, I was like, wow, that was wild, but in a really cool way. So this mission has been disrupted? Why? How? What disrupted it? I don't understand. It didn't get disrupted until I got here? Are you serious? We drove all the way out here for literally nothing? Okay. Well, ain't that a doozy. I guess we're gonna we're gonna do a uh, we're gonna do a Minutemen mission instead because we have to. <laughs> because we literally have no choice. So ain't that just fucking peachy. Well, well now that we have to drive literally all the way back to where we came from, I guess uh, I guess I get to dig another story out of the, <laughs> out of the, uh, out of the vast expanse of my of my own of thine own memory. So, uh, what was it? I think it was uh, last weekend. Actually, it was last last Sunday. I had some family visiting from California in the Stockton area, which God bless their souls that they that they actually choose to still live there. Stockton is an absolutely mortifying city if you've never been there. <laughs> and if you're ever thinking about it, I would seriously rethink that choice because I mean where where you know where he lives, you know he's he's like I mean I'm basically about 500 feet away from violence at any given moment realistically. <laughs> he's like he's like I've seen all sorts of crazy stuff happen. So man Stockton yeesh. it's it's basically like you know modern day Watts at this at this point it's it's pretty bad. Hey, anyway, so they were they were up here. Um, he and his he and uh, you know so he and, and my aunt Kathy were up here you know visiting for a couple of nights uh, to visit my grandma because they haven't seen her in close to ten years and obviously with her health concerns they really wanted to make sure that at the very least you know get to get to see her one more time. Man, we are having a rough time with clipping things. And okay, <laughs> impossibly roll he wills that thing back onto its feet. Or wheels, if you will. Wheels are basically just a car's feet, so I'm not. I'm not wrong. Fuck you if you have to. Some, if you have something to say about it, huh? I gotta get you out of here. Well, where am I supposed to get you? I mean, you know, are you gonna, you gonna, you gonna hop in or, or I'm gonna. <laughs> Damn it! I didn't mean to run you over, but I mean, you know, I guess if I gotta take eleven dollars off of you. I mean, I feel bad. I, I, I legit feel bad. I, I wasn't, I was not trying to run that innocent bystander over. That's just, you know, that was simply a thing where the momentum got away from me. Hello. I went right through that thing. I went right through it. It's from a different dimension. Um, but so they were here visiting and, and they were telling, uh, they were telling a story or he was, he was telling a story about how the ba about how the toilets here at my grandma's house are absolutely terrifying and so he's like he's going on to tell the story he's like so he's like so all the other toilets I've ever used you know you flush them and they go and it's fine 
He's like, sometimes when you go in an airplane, those things are like weirdly aggressive and they, you know, you feel like they could suck your soul out. But, man, I did not expect what I got out of, out of the one here in the guest bathroom. Because, oh boy, oh. I was, you know, if I wouldn't have hit that car, he might have been able to fly into the rear window. And I don't mean Alfred Hitchcock's rear window. It, it just would have been right into that, into that thing there. Anywho. So, uh, he's like, I went to go use this thing, you know, kind of late in the evening, and, uh, he's like, I, he's like, I did, you know, I did my business, and, and I went to flush it, and it just made, like, this really loud <laughs> noise, but then it stopped, it didn't do anything, and so then I tried it again, and, uh, and it totally didn't work, and so he's like, well, I didn't really know what to do, so I got down on my knees to try to, you know, assess the situation on what was going on, and I pulled the thing all the way down, and it went, it just like sucked everything down, but then it just sprayed a whole bunch of water right into my face. <laughs> and, and and it, it totally does that. Like if you, unless you flush that thing and walk away, it will spray at you. Why do you care? Well, I don't, except that they paid me some money. That must feel good. What a proud patriot you are. So, when are they kicking you out? They can't kick me out, stupid man. Why not? My family has been here 200 years. I'm more American than you. Not that same. <laughs> well, he's not American at all, actually. I'm sorry. Well, at least you got paid. You know, don't get all serious, okay? Anybody can make a mistake. Perhaps now you want to kill me. Yeah, maybe, old man. Maybe not. You and your civil border patrol friends. You're all the same. Ignorant fools trying to protect something that's not even there. They're not my friends. But I did help them totally wreck the party of a mariachi band in the mountains once. Favorite hobbies. Border Patrol, man. Fuck you! You wanna fucking die? You don't scare me. You owe my family a great debt. Oh, I do, do I? My land is no longer safe. It's not my fault. I just drove the car. They had the tasers. Clean it up for me. Your choice. And no. I will not give you one cent. Then why am I doing it? You're actually going to do it, huh? I heard your civil border Kill Joe and Joseph, huh? East of here at the San Interesting. So I don't have to drive this time, huh? You'll see them. Oh, okay. So he's just straight up leaving. He's just gonna leave this place totally unattended, huh? All right, well that's fine. But yeah, so uh, dude, that toilet—it can totally do that, man. Like if you're, if, if you're not careful, that thing will spray up at you. The the one at my work is totally the same way. Like you gotta flush that thing and take like a solid. You gotta do like a solid sidestep away from it. Otherwise, that thing just turns into like old faithful and just goes, you know. <laughs> And he didn't know that, so he he got down, you know, not necessarily like on a knee, but he like leaned into it and flushed the thing, and it just went right into his face, and he just went. Yeah! <laughs> oh man, it was the 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 story was just oh, we were all in stitches over that. Like my my stomach actually burst. I had to go to the hospital. They had to put stitches in there because my innards started falling out. Oh whoa whoa! Okay. Did not expect the wrath of the wizard there that quickly. Good God, that man is <laughs> that man is a savant with a sawed off. My God, he was just like, oh hey, by the way, <laughs> all of a sudden now I know what I'm doing here. I mean, hey, you know, if we if we really got to do it stakeout style, then I will. I really will. Be so much better if I could kill them both in one shot. But this guy with all of his crazy stuff, I don't need to. I don't need to hear his voice anymore. <laughs> Where's the other man? Where's the other man? He don't run in the building, you dummy! Oh, what a fucking idiot! Now I gotta go and clean up the mess. You like? Oh no! They killed the person trying to kill me. Let me go run inside of the building where the other guy is. Where are you going? Oh my god! I'm taking him down in a tractor. <laughs> Yes! Oh, yeah! Oh, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna harvest the grains, and then I'm gonna harvest your ass! Why would he get out of that and run? We have the same vehicle. It goes the same speed. 
Oh boy. You reap what you sow, and I'm sowing your ass shut. Yes. Yes! Oh yeah! Civil Border Patrol disbanded. <laughs> army of two, meet army of one. Alright, well, that was easy. So does this mean that I get to go back to the, the FIB now? Do I get to go on that little, you know, embarked journey all over again? Or is it just gonna, you know, be like, oh, well, you didn't get here fast enough, so fuck you. It might be the case. I hope it's not the case. But maybe it will be. Who's to know? However, here's the deal. I have really low blood sugar right now. I am in dire need of eating because the last time that I ate was uh, nearly 24 hours ago. Definitely not a good thing. So I'm going to go make myself some dinner. When we come back uh, on the next installment of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto V, we are going to... Uh, we're not going to take this tractor all the way there. I can promise you that. Um, we're going to we're gonna hop in a car. And we're going to head through the old mountain range again to get ourselves over there. And hopefully the mission will actually work this time, because if it doesn't, we don't really have a backup that we can do um, outside of maybe whatever this question mark is. You know, if we if we have to, just, you know, switch identities and move over to that just to have something to do while this thing sorts its crap out, then we will. But until then, my friends, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Take it easy. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.